Well, on the bench today we have an LED bulb. And this guy is not looking too good, is he? Well, it's a dead LED bulb. Came from my parents' house. It's a Fight Electric. I really like these bulbs. I have about 12 of them around my house. And I haven't lost one of them yet. I have some in totally enclosed fixtures on the outside. You know, they come on at night automatically. And I put them in two years ago and never had a problem. But this came from my parents' house and it burned out. It was in a ceiling fixture. It has the glass globe that screws on. It holds two bulbs inside the fixture. And the other bulb was an LED, of course. You don't want to put an incandescent in with it because of the great heat buildup. These don't run as hot as your typical LED bulb. You're sitting out base down in a socket, some 60 watt equivalent LED bulbs, you know, they're usually rated somewhere around 8 watts. You know, they can get pretty hot. I've measured them running around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 93 degrees Celsius. Where these only get up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 71 degrees Celsius. So they do run a lot cooler, which should be advantageous to their lifetime. Like I said, I have a bunch of these around my house. I, in fact, I've never lost an LED bulb in my house, and I've been using them for years. But my parents, on the other hand, have lost a few. They had a batch of cheap ones quit. They were just low-quality bulbs. And they had a couple random, better-quality bulbs fail on them. But, uh, take a closer look at this. Get a tighter focus there. The information on it. 8.5 watt, 5,000 Kelvin, 800 lumen. And just random stuff. Fight electric. Okay, well, I want to get this thing open and see what's going on inside. Okay, got this thing apart. It seems to have a very large aluminum surface area. You can see in there and around here. This is a larger area compared to a lot of other bulbs. It's probably why it runs at a cooler temperature. And there goes my meter. And keeping price as low as possible, they seem to be going with this design with everything on one board. We have some surface mount components on this side of the LED board and through hole on the other side. TO92 cased device. That's probably the first time I've ever seen that in an LED bulb. Usually it's some sort of surface mount arrangement. I've gone around and checked all the LEDs. I have a 9 volt battery with a 4.7K resistor. Went around to each one. And this LED here does not light. So, if I hook this up to power and bypass this, the other LED should light up. Okay, hook this up to full mains voltage. I do have a bulb limiter to limit current. And just in case. But taking care that we are on full mains voltage, I'm going to jumper that dead LED and see if this lights up. Okay, we'll try this again. Yep. You can see it lights right up. So that LED is definitely open. Now I saw something interesting going on when I looked with my close-up magnifier. So I'll put this macro lens on the camera and see if I can get a close-up photo of that LED. Well, I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but it looks like the die on the right has a crack in it in that one corner there. I kind of marked it so you can see it. You know, without closer inspection, you can't see if that crack curves under the bond wire and has broken the connection. I have examined all the other LEDs on the board, and they look fine. 
So possibly just a fluke. I don't know. I, it seems like those LEDs are very good quality. Well, I think that'll wrap it up for this examination of a dead LED bulb. Thanks for watching.